There once was a lion that was so lazy that it started drooling all over the place. In today's drawing tutorial, we're going to be going on an artistic adventure to draw a lazy lion. So grab your art making mediums, whatever they might be, and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we're going to be doing a lazy lion. Yeah, that's what we're doing. A lazy lion. Okay, here we go. Lazy lion is going to be so lazy. It's going to be... Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Ideas coming into the head. Okay, sideways. All right, draw a line. Here we go, guys. It's called making art up on the spot. Draw a line on a diagonal. And we're gonna add two letter C shapes. One on one side, one on the other. Boom, boom! Yeah. <laughs> okay, lazy lion, lazy lion. Let's draw the nose, okay. We're gonna start off with one uh, shorter line and we're gonna turn it into a bubble letter T. So we're gonna curve in the lines on either side and add a U on the bottom. That is called bubble letter T. Then we just add some nostrils. So cute, so easy, right? I know. Okay, two more inner ear lines. That's two more letter C's. Obviously one is backwards. All right, next we're gonna draw one oval on one side and a circle on the other. Then over on this oval, we're just gonna draw a half circle like the eye is just sort of open. It's just like, bleh. I'm so tired, guys. You know that feeling when you just have, you just like don't have the energy? Okay, curving line up and over on one side. And then make it a little bit up and over on the other side. We're just gonna give it a little area here, like, Ugh, I don't feel it today, guys. I'm gonna have a tongue sliming out. That's what's about to happen, okay. Tongue, <laughs> curving line, that long. Make it long, make it exaggerated, because why not? Okay, another line. <laughs> that. Okay, and it's a tongue, so we're gonna whoosh, add all the feels there. And it's a tongue, so add some curving lines because otherwise there ain't no taste buds and that would make the world extra boring if we didn't, you know, get that awesomeness going on. Okay, let's draw the bottom light mouth just peeking out here on either side with some curving lines. And it's a lion, so we'll add some teeth because hey, I'm a lion and I got teeth, so we're just gonna add some letter V's or some triangles here and there, and that is how we do teeth. So we're gonna add one circle on one side, one circle on the other. We're gonna color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just those circles white for our laziest lion ever. And we're gonna draw curving lines around each eye. And that just adds some details. And anytime I'm going too fast, you just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue. All right, this is a tongue, so we need some drool. Add a big blob of drool. Oh yeah, like that. Maybe another little part is leaking out over here. Drool everywhere, guys, because drool is what happens when you're being lazy and you're sleepy. Don't pretend that doesn't happen to you because I feel like drool happens to everybody. I'm not, I, that's not a scientific fact. That's just an assumption fact. There's a difference. It's an opinion, not a fact. Okay, finish the face with two curving lines down. And then we're gonna give our lazy lion some lazy hair. That. Maybe his paw is peeking up here, so we're just gonna draw some curving, whoa, 
some curving lines and I go up to the next part, bring it down, up to the top of the next toe, bring it down. Now just add some dots in front and that will create the illusion of a paw. And then maybe I'm just gonna have the back of the body just sort of peeking out over here. So I'm gonna draw a nice big curving line down. I'm gonna do one, two, three more connected curving lines because this is clearly a three-toed lion. And then we just need a little lazy tail peeking up way out in the distance. So I'm gonna draw two curving lines all the way up and give it some crazy zigzags on the end. And now we got a lazy lion. Just like that, it is lazy. This is the sound of zigzags happening because why? It's hair. Gotta add some zigzaggies in hair to make some hair, te oh, hair texture. And once you're done, you are ready to color in your awesome lazy, super lazy lion with your favorite art making mediums and colors.
And once you're done coloring in your lion, your lovely lazy lion is done.